Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Plugin Development. In the previous videos, we have been learning how to set up the plugin and of course this plugin should do something. So in the future, we are going to add more features, but for now, we will go ahead and make this plugin register some of the block patterns because we really want to focus on getting this plugin on the WordPress org. So one of the features we can add is the block patterns and then we can submit it to WordPress org and let it get approved. And while it does that, we can focus on adding other features as well, maybe some blocks. Okay, so right now uh, I am in the editor. So let's say there's a two column layout over here. And as you can see, this is the column and you have two different columns inside of that and each has a group block which has heading, uh, description, uh, some text and button which is a CTA. Okay, same goes for this as well. So let's say that uh, we have a website and where we want this kind of a pattern to be repeated with different content. So this is where the block patterns can be useful. And uh, once we register it, this pattern is going to be available here under patterns. And if you go to column Aquila feature columns, you can see that this pattern is available. And I, I can insert this pattern by clicking on it. Okay, so I can have this as many as, you, as I want. So if I go over here, click on the columns, you can see that I can add that, right? This is what we want to build. Um, so let's do that. So I'm going to first create a file called patterns.php. This will be a class patterns.php. And then I'm going to add this class over here. So let's add that class. This is going to be patterns. And this will have a constructor function. So let's add that. And then it's going to have an init function. Let's add that as well. Okay, so basically in order for us to register a pattern we will create our own custom function called register block patterns and we will register these patterns under a category so in order for us to register the pattern under a category we need to register the categories for the pattern as well and so this is what that function will do okay so let's create those so i'm going to add these so i'm going to add this function let's do that Okay, and I'll explain that to you in a moment. Let's add the second function also. All of this code is available on GitHub uh, under Imran Sayyad slash Equila features. You can grab the code from there. It's just to save some time so that we can focus on the development and covering more features. Okay, so the first one is basically register block pattern. Okay, now under this function, uh, we are going to use the register block pattern function, which is a which is a WordPress core function, and that basically registers a pattern. So if you take a look at register block pattern onto WordPress org, you'll see that uh, this basically registers a new block pattern. So block block patterns are nothing but a collection of blocks, uh, as I explained to you earlier. That if you want to reuse some of the set of blocks in a specific way, a specific layout multiple times these patterns are really useful okay so it needs pattern name and pattern properties so um, in the pattern name you need a namespace so we'll put this namespace as equila features then we are going to use the name of this particular pattern we're calling it two columns uh, and then the other attributes in form of an array other properties in form of an array so the title uh, of this particular pattern description a category where it will be registered and then the content so we'll come back to the content as to how the content will come in a moment and I'll explain to you this part as well but let's just uh, focus on registering the category first so you want to register the category with this slug Aquila columns so we'll come over here this is our custom function uh, which we are calling here we are hooking it on on the init hook over here and inside of this uh, there is a WordPress core function available called register block pattern category okay okay so this function takes two parameters first is the pattern category you can register as many block uh, as many pattern categories as you want so we were just going to hold this information in, in an array uh, in a variable called pattern categories and the first uh, category is the aquila columns and that's the slug of that category and this is the title of that category okay so 
I'm going to use the pattern category. I'm going to loop through this array. And then inside of this array, we'll get the pattern category, which is the slug, this guy over here. And then the label will be the name of this particular category. So that'll come as a label in form of an array. So this function accept these two parameters. First is the slug of that category name, and then the category name itself in, uh, in form of an array with key value properties, label, and the name of that particular category. Okay, so we're just registering so that if we want to add more uh, categories over here, let's say, Aquila group or something we can add that like so and then it'll automatically registers all those categories in form of an array Okay So that's the name of the category and that's what we have used over here Okay, so the last thing that we need is the content uh, so content is basically the markup The markup of this particular uh, pattern. So let's create this pattern first. So you can create any pattern if you want in the editor and then use that code. So I'll show that to you. So let's say we create a column. Uh, so we use columns block and then let it be two columns block inside of each of this. Let's create a group block and let's give it a background color of black and text of white. And inside of this, let's say we have a heading and then that's heading one. And let's align it in the center. Let's change the color to this one. And then description. Okay, let's align it in the center. And change the color to this one. And then let's some let's put some lorem if some text. So I'm going to hit enter, paragraph again, align center, and then the CTA. So for CTA we'll use a button block. And then inside of this, we'll change it to white outline. So it becomes white outline. And then we're going to align it in the center. And then this will be CTA1. And then we can just copy this. And then we can paste this whole block over here. And just change this to heading 2. And change this to CTA2. That's all. We've got our uh, block created. All we have to do now is click on this three dots over here on top and then click on the code editor and this is the code this is the markup that includes the block common delimiter and all of those things so we copy that come back over here we create a file we create a directory called templates under that we can create a directory called patterns inside of which we can create a file called two columns dot php and then two columns pattern add package aquila features and then paste that code here okay that's all you have to do here and then we need to pull this uh, basically need to load this template we need to get that markup over here now you could just simply paste that entire markup over here in form as a kind of a string and of course you have to escape it and stuff but it looks very untidy so that's why we are getting this from the template okay and we need to create this custom function because you know that get template part is actually the theme function so uh, that doesn't work in a plugin so that's why we will create a custom function which will basically get any template that we want from this template directory okay so i'm going to copy this function that I've created and we will create a directory called includes inc and inside of which we'll create a file called custom functions.php this is where we'll keep all our custom functions paste this code here so basically uh, we've created a custom function called aquila features get template it takes the template uh, name or path of the template within templates folder without the php extension okay so you don't need to prefix this with templates it automatically does that over here as you can see and then uh, if any variables that you want to pass to that particular template, uh, you can add that. And then if you want to echo it or return it, by default, it's going to uh, return it. Okay, so that's the template file. Basically, uh, use the Aquila features plugin path, which is basically the URL up until the plugin directory, which is here. And then it's going to also add whatever template path you're going to pass so in our case we are passing the patterns and two columns so that's going that is basically um, patterns and then two columns 
and then that's what's going to be replaced here with this one and then dot php it's going to add that if that file exists uh, it's going to continue otherwise it'll return uh, nothing and then it's going to extract any variables in case if you have passed any uh, and then it's going to do ob start so that uh, that's the output buffering starts so anything that's echoed it's going to hold that in the buffer and once we include the template and then we do ob get clean then it's going to give everything that is being echoed in for into the uh, variable markup and then we can return that markup okay so this is what's happening here and that's the function we are using over here it's going to basically get that content of this particular template this entire content so that entire content is then going to be passed to uh, this particular value of this param parameter content uh, using this variable okay so that's going to be available here so that is what is responsible for registering this pattern and what we're going to do is we're also going to go to source plugin and i'm just going to say new and then patterns so that we instantiate that particular class and we have we have to also include uh, this particular custom functions into our plugin main file so i'm going to copy this and just below the auto load i'll put the file inclusion so this is going to require once uh, and then plugin directly directory path which is path up until this equila features plugin then includes which is this and then custom functions which is this particular file so it's going to include that file for us so that this function is available to any other files uh, in the plugin okay all right brilliant so that's all we have to do now if you go to this editor and then click on the plus icon you have the patterns available click on that and there are others also other uh, categories also available that is being registered uh, through a theme so let's not worry about that but this guy right here which is aquila features column that is the name of the category uh, that we had added so if you remember the category is aquila features columns that's the category right over here and because we have used this function register block pattern we're saying that register is inside of this category this this pattern is actually available over here okay so now i can click it and now you can see it's been inserted i can do it one more time and it'll keep getting inserted wherever you want whichever page you want so this basically is pretty useful when you have a similar kind of layout let's say you have spent some time in building that layout um, and then you want to reuse it over and over again uh, this is pretty useful like you don't really need to have a knowledge of block building to be able to build the pattern you know you can just build them in the editor just copy the markup by going into this three dots uh, use those PHP functions that we've just done in just single file and it's going to automatically create that pattern for you You can also submit this these patterns to WordPress org. There's a pattern library available that you can submit it to but for now Let's keep it into our plugin. Okay, so brilliant So I hope you did like video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and uh, Do start my repository to support my work and do follow me on github. My github handle is Imran H. Sayyad. Okay, and um, in the next video, we are going to start preparing for submitting this plugin on WordPress org. And I'm also going to add a couple more patterns, which I would probably not explain in this video because you now you know how to register patterns uh, so that when we submit this plugin to WordPress org, at least we have a bunch of patterns available for people to use. All right. Brilliant. So I'm pretty excited about the next video where we will discuss what are the things required to submit the plugin to WordPress org. Okay. All right, then. Thank you very much. Bye bye.